Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate user scraper on Pinterest using Socinator. With this, you can easily search, filter, and target users you want to scrape on Pinterest. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your Pinterest account and hit Go to Tools. This will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Pinterest through Socinator. Let's scroll to the right and click User Scraper. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to scrape a number of people within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for User Scraper activity. Let's begin with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted users to scrape. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the user. You may select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. Once you have chosen your Query Type, enter your query either manually by typing in this area or you may import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Select the right file and click Open. When you're done, click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's enter Pets for example and click Add. And it's added to the Queries list. Socinator will use this query to search related profiles containing this keyword. Next, we have someone's followers. For this one, we need a specific Pinterest user. Let's say cutesypoo.com, for example. Copy the Pinterest username over here and paste it in the query box. Click Add. So this will target the followers of cutesypoo.com. Next, we have someone's followings. Let's use the same username, paste it, click Add. So this time, it will target the users cutesypoo.com is following. Next, we have followers of someone's followings. Still with cutesypoo.com, click Add. So this time, it will target the followers of the users cutesypoo.com is following. Next, we have followers of someone's followers. Let's use the same username again. Click Add. So this will target the followers of cutesypoo.com's followers. Next, we have custom users. For this one, we need a specific Pinterest username. Let's use cutesypoo.com again. Click Add. So this will target and scrape cutesypoo.com. Next, we have board followers. For this one, we need a specific Pinterest board. Let's say this cat's board, for example. So copy the board URL here, paste it in the query box, and click Add. So this will target the followers of that specific Pinterest board. The last one is users who tried pins. This time we need a Pinterest pin. So let's say this one for example. Copy the pin URL here, paste it in the query box and click add. So this will target the users who tried that specific Pinterest pin. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, simply click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say you want to delete the first one, click it, and it's gone. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should scrape users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 166, medium with 333, fast with 500, or super fast with 666. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each user is scraped. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after scraping the number of users you set 
in number of user scrape per job. Number of user scrape per job will allow you to specify the number of users to scrape per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of users to scrape per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max user scrape per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep scraping users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time let's say 12 a.m to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it Pinterest user scraper. Click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing Pinterest user scraper. The next tool is user filters. This allows us to filter the accounts we want to scrape on Pinterest. Check the first one if you want to scrape those who have profile pictures. The next one will allow you to specify the minimum and maximum number of pins of the users you want to scrape. Next, you can specify the minimum number of characters in the bio of the users you want to scrape. Next, you can specify the minimum and maximum numbers in the followings and followers of the users you want to scrape. Next, we have must not contain specific words. These are the words that should not be in the profile of the users you want to scrape. Let's say you're not into politics, for example. Type it in this area. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click open. And when you're done, click the Save button over here. Next, we have Follow Ratio, which is ratio of followers and followings. You can input a follow ratio less than or greater than a specific number. You may also input a follow ratio in a specific range between two numbers. Finally, check the last one if you don't want to scrape users who have non-English text in their profile. This will make it easier for you to target English-speaking people around the world. The last configuration category is pin filter. This allows us to filter the pins of the users we want to scrape. So the first one will allow you to specify the number of times the pin has been tried. Next, you can choose to ignore either images or videos. Let's ignore pins that are videos. Next, we have caption blacklists. So these are the words that should not be in the caption of the pins you want to target. Let's say politics again, for example. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons. And when you're done, click save. The next one is the opposite of the previous one, caption whitelist. These are the words that should be in the caption of the pins you want to target. Let's say pets, for example. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons. And when you're done, click save. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start scraping users on Pinterest, let's scroll up and click Save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. To view the users you have scraped, simply click the Reports button over here. Now, let me show you another option in automating user scraper on Pinterest using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop-down button and select Pinterest. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the scraper tab and select user scraper on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Pinterest user scraper. For search query, let's select keywords as our query type and input pets in our query box. Click add. For job configuration, let's select slow. For user filters, let's check the first and the last ones. 
And for pin filter, let's ignore videos. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select to counter accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Pinterest accounts. Since you only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Pinterest user scraper campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. To view the users you have scraped, click the report button over here. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.